Welcome to another Helix Solutions video. Today I'm going to show you how to add custom status, status reasons, or priority values to a ticket activity in SmartIT with progressive views. So let's get to it. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do, you need to go into Sys menu items and you need to create your custom record. In this case, I'm just using custom BMC video and you need to give it a selection code, unique number. Here I'm using 50120. And you have to create the record against node type HPD. You have to do the same for show node types filter HPD. You have to do the same for show activity types filter HPD. On this specific use case, I want the custom work info node to appear as custom BMC video when I create tickets in SmartIT with PWA. Now Dev Studio is where we're gonna do the heavy lifting. So the list of forms is going to be on the knowledge article. But as you can see, I've opened the, all of the um, forms that are required to do this in the incident module. We start with the social events form, service action populate activity value, union workload, union working for social events, the HPD work log version, and the union workflow social events. So what you have to do is you have to locate the activity value section field. We can see that we have four of them. And you need to create an overlay here and you need to add your custom value. As you can see, if we go all the way to the bottom, we have the test BMC video value here. And we added the same database ID that we had previously added in the sys menu items form. So we have to do the same thing on all of the forms that are listed for the same field. We go to service action, you locate the activity value selection, the four of these, and you have to add your value listed there as well. You have to do it for the union work log form. And if we scroll here, you can see we have the activity value selection. You can see clearly that all of these four fields have the overlays uh, there. And if you inspect them, you, and if you go all the way to the bottom, you can see that we have the custom value there. You have to do it for the union working for social events and for the HPD work log itself. Now these uh, on this form, the values are hidden. So you have to click here on show fields not in view. In there, you will locate the, the all of those four fields. You have to do the same for the union working for social events. If you scroll down here, you will see the list of fields. Now, do not worry because all of the forms are listed in the knowledge article. In this case, I'm just uh, demoing to you. I'm doing it for the incident use case. But if you want to do it for the work order use case, the forms are listed in the knowledge article. So now what we have to do, we have to go back to the mid tier to do one last step. So we're here back in the mid tier. And for the last step, you have to go to the union configuration console and you have to select the implementation area. The implementation area you have to select here is SVSHR work log and SV people activity. So we start with SVSHR work log and what you have to do is you have to select yes here where it says bypass enum value conversion. Lastly, you have to click on this button that says rebuild build database union structure and the workflow in the back end is going to take care of everything and is going to build this customization for you. You have to do it again for the sv people activity so let's select that one so here it is sv people activity and you have to select the bypass enum value conversion set it to yes and you have to click on build rebuild database union structure and you have to wait for a happy message at the end again workflow is going to take care of everything in the back end because I am showing this to you for the incident use case, I have to do it for the incident tables as well. So last but not least, I have to select SV incident activity. So if you see here, we have SV incident activity. You need to make sure the bypass enum value conversion is set to yes. And you have to click build rebuild database union structure. Every time you do a click here in the back end, the workflows uh, reconstruct themselves. There are changes in the database and this won't affect operation, but it's recommended you do it offline hours. So how does everything look now that we have accomplished this customization? 
if we go to the activity tab and then we, we can just type test here and if we click on the menu you'll see if I scroll all the way up I can see custom BMC video so our desired custom note type is there listed I can just click post it will post it with our custom uh, activity note type and we're good to go this concludes our presentation today thank you for watching and please subscribe to our channel BMC remedy and discovery and see you in the next one